What's up with everybody? She me Moya B. And Nicole. We're back into another Try Not To Laugh challenge. You know the rules. You laugh, you lose. Mm -hmm. Let's dive right into it. Right. What the heck? Sir, I can't park this. So There's game. diarrhea all over the front seat of your PT Cruiser. Bruh. Isabella. Listen, I'm not great at this, but... Well, I have kids. Oh, wow. And a couple of cuties. Oh, we got any teeth coming in? Oh, oh. Ew. I think I feel something. This dude nasty. Please, please don't do that. Hey, your aunt is Consuela? Hi, Consuela. You two know each other? Oh, yeah, Lemon Pledge. No, no, all that stuff. It's time to go. Lemon Pledge. No, no. Oh, no, Isabella's no. coming by, and we're going to take the kids to the park. Wow, you two are spending a lot of time together. Uh, Chris was really like the girl. A girl who's the woman. Had so much experience? Hmm. What do you mean? Like, maybe she's got some city miles on a Volvo. Oh. Not to mention a couple of blowouts. <laughs> hey, Bri. Yup, I heard you. Oh, hello, Isabella. Hi, Mrs. Griffin. Mr. Griffin. Mr. Griffin's up here, sweetheart. Well, I guess you two have fun. Okay, bye. Bye. Look, I can see why you're concerned that Chris's girlfriend has kids, but he's happy. There she is. Is everything okay? Chris, I just wanted to say goodbye. What? What do you mean? I found out that I'm going to be deported. They're sending me oh. back to Mexico in the morning. He's gonna marry I guess I have no yeah. choice. But I hate having to. The whole reason I left Mexico was to give them a better life. Well, I could take them until you get back. I mean, I'm no expert at this sort of thing, but <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what? You're getting Quat wheels. Look, I made a promise to Isabella, and I'm gonna keep it. Now, if you'll excuse me, these two need to eat. So he just took the he kid. Yeah. Best feeding book. Someone may want to pop in on him. There's no way Chris he is bought a be able to book. care of two babies. Well, me oh, hello, Consuela. You must be here for the twins. No, no take babies. I have good news and I I I news. I I I news. Give us the I I I news first. Isabella no can come back. Stuck in Mexico. The babies, they stay here. What? What's the good news? Never here. What the? Wow, she's like the Mexican David Blaine. Wait, is David Blaine Mexican? He's something. Peter, forget that. What are we gonna do? Chris can't just be stuck with these babies. Why not? I'm doing a great job. I love Isabella, and I love her kids. Chris, forget it. I will not allow you to drop out of school. If Isabella can't get here to take her kids back, we'll just have to bring them to her. What? What do you mean? I mean, we're going to Mexico so we can give these kids back to their go back? Peter, back me up here. Chris, are you sure this is Isabella's village? This place looks pretty rough. Yeah, this is it. Santa Terrible. Look, there she is. Santa Terrible. Chris, yeah. what in Think the mind of Mencia are you doing here? My babies. Better babies. Uh, you're right. Better rallies. I didn't want you to have to raise those babies yourself. But as a mom, I don't know if I can in good conscience leave this family here. We'll just have to smuggle her and her babies back in. So now you can take her back. Mark Cuban, oh, we're getting all the wrong eyebrow guys. All the wrong, wrong ones. Mrs. Griffin, you would take the risk of smuggling me and my children across the border? But you could be arrested. I realize that, but you have just actually... Wh why are you saying it like that? And Quagmire owes me a favor anyway, remember? Last time he went out of town, I sat on his eggs for him. Peter, hey. it's time for lunch. Sorry, Lois, can't leave the eggs till Quagmire gets back. We're having sloppy joes. Well, I guess yeah. I haven't seen that in a while. Ugh, look at Miss Tammy. What a skank. She's free muffin it at a baby school. Hi, Stewie. Mommy's here to pick you up. Why do you feel the need to narrate every little thing you do? Oh, hi, Mrs. Griffin. You know, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about Stewie. I'm concerned that he might have an attention problem. It's been an issue for a while. Dang. He's even been bothering students during nap time. Hey, you up? Guess where I have a crayon. Ah. This little dude. So I spent like $75 on cat toys, and what does she play with? A shoelace. That's crazy. That's crazy. Sounds right. These are Korean tacos, because whatever the hell nowadays. Yeah, what's in it? Yeah. Ugh, these are terrible. That's good to say. <laughs> Quagmire, 
When it comes to tacos, I'll trust the Koreans. Thank you. You're nuts. This tastes like Ani DeFranco after a bike ride. What the? Yeah. Sorry, I just prefer to do number two at home. Where were we? It's he went all the way back home to do another two. This dude. Ah, yes. So you're telling me your baby won't sit still in a way that's convenient for his teacher? Yes. I'd heard stories, but never thought I I'd see stories. it with my own eyes. I mean, it's a There's a cat in here. Okay, I guess we can give it a try. Here you go. Now, who's this little guy? Wow, when did you learn to cook, Glenn? Yeah. Well, as a young man, I found that a great meal was the Don't look too bad. way to a woman's heart. How romantic. Show. You know, the 1130 cooking show on Channel 5 needs a new host. The old one burned off his eyebrows and was just too weird to look at. How? You should do it. How? How you do that? Oh, your... gosh. Now just the giggity, giggity on the TV yeah. show. On. Giggity, giggity. God, I'm really freaking out over this audition. What if I blow it? Quagmire, when I agreed to come to this, I didn't know what would require this level of emotional support. You Glenn Quagmire? I'm Carson, the producer of the show. Peter Griffin, I should be at work. Okay, let's see what you've got. I think you're gonna like this. Cedar plank salmon with a maple glaze. This is the show. What do you mean? I'm saying you're hired, just as long as you're your hired. joins you. What do you say, Peter? I say let's do it. Whoops. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What do I, what, what do I do? Real TV chef. I know, it might sound silly, but being a chef is something I've always dreamed about. I always, always dream dreamed about, about my house filling up with water. That's crazy. But anyway, thanks for encouraging me, Peter. Yeah. Two, one. Welcome back to Quagmire's Kitchen. Now, the ingredients of a mince pie are traceable to the 13th century. What is he doing, man? Returning European crusades. Oh, he's gonna try. Middle Eastern recipes containing meats, fruits, and oh boy, spices. Kick it right here, I'm using cloves. Yeah, why are we? I feel like that was cinnamon. <laughs> yeah. Associate mince pie with Christmas. <laughs> But like did people doing a cinnamon challenge yeah. back in the day? Yeah. The first time I had mince pie. Our Boy, are you finna choke to death? Oh my lord. Oh my Peter. Yeah. Hey, look at his eyes. Mm -hmm. Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they helped me to, um, uh, think. Think. Okay, time for an eyes open nap. See, this is how American society treats unique, enthusiastic children. Instead of embracing their mental gifts, their first reaction is to shoot them up with hardcore drugs until they're mindless sheeple. All the better to send off to Kuwait mm. with the Halliburton oil machine, right? <laughs> Bush. Yep, takes all kinds. What about my dad? Well, now to Quagmire ruin the surprise, we found you dead! You oh, he found his dad? That's right. Okay. He's coming tomorrow for Father's Day. He's, he's coming, y'all. Right? shouldn't have done that, Peter. Dang. Dang. father's not gonna be happy to see me. Sure he will. Just get him one of them Father's Day cards what plays a song. Dad what? to the bone. I'm dad. Bad to the bone. Pretty much anything with bad. My dad would ridicule anyone in a wheelchair. It was all, hey, spaghetti legs. And, hey, oh, look at bogus. Legs. And, uh, hey, angel hair legs. He was a sales manager at Ronzoni. Wow, then it must have been hard for him to accept when you were paralyzed. That's just it. He don't know. know yeah, as I was speaking, he probably don't know, y'all. I never told him. I can't believe you invited my father without telling me. You guys gotta get in touch with him and tell him not to come. It's too late, Joe. He's already on his way. He is? Yeah, we got him tickets on kayak. It is a nightmare itinerary. It was like 80 bucks, but he has four stops. Two of them are in Houston. What am I gonna do? Two my dad has yes. no idea I'm paralyzed. Well, there's only one thing we can do. All right, check it out, Bonnie. Give him legs. They're going to try to give him legs some type of way. Oh, my God. What? Yeah, what? Real, right? What? 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 And then we put Cinnamon's head up. You could have got up some like them little fake lit yeah. things for people. Yeah, but that is not like All right, we're almost done. What? This boy finna crop all circulation, y'all. Uh, kind of. Yeah. I don't care. Peter, I don't know about He's gonna pretend to be him. Uh -huh. Look, Lois, Joe is they look none alike, like y'all. Right, I'm only doing this to help him. Besides, where do you hear my Joe voice? Uh, God, I hate being stuck in this chair. He kind of sound like a little bit. Are you ready, Peter? I think so. What do you think, acting coach? I think you will be exemplary, Peter. All coach. good acting yeah. coaches are insane old ladies. Emote! Emote. Hi, bud. Hi, Joe's dad. I, I mean, uh, dad. Yep, Joe, I'm Joe. Dude. You're my dad. 
Joe? Wow, I guess it really has. All right, everyone in the car. We got a father's day. And he's being Peter. Mm -hmm. but why is Mr. Swanson coming? And why is he dressed like dad? I don't know, kids. I they can recognize him, but nobody else can. shot a horse. The heck? Thanks for the ride along. I liked when you sentenced those two uh. girls to kiss each other. So what? Since the two girls. This boy. Disposable catheters. I no longer have those beet red infections in my urethra. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I hope it's not genetic. Chris, he's not our dad. I can't keep up with this ruse. Hey, everybody. Peter, finally, you're home. How's it going over there with my dad? Awesome. He fell for the whole thing. What? Peter, this is crazy. Nah, it's going to work out fine. Oh, and remember, Joe, if Lois is feeling frisky at night, it's index finger around and clockwise. And just keep doing that to yourself until you're good to go. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I've had two dads, and neither one cared for me as much as Bud does. Peter, I've had enough of this. You can't just so he getting close with his dad. Well, he's right now he's, like, door. pissed about it. You can't get close to my dad. He's trying to convince him to go his son right is right a paraplegic yeah. who's stuck in a wheelchair. You know I can't do that. Well, suit yourself. But I gotta go. Me and Bud are having a blast. Mm. So, anyone going to the gerbil's funeral on Friday? Okay, kids. Everyone in a circle for parachute time. Oh, goody. I love parachute time. Parachute time. Mm-hmm. Do you remember doing this as a kid? Whee! Yeah, I think I remember. Yeah, I used to love it. We all used to love it. Are you, like, you going inside of it? Yeah. What? What the hell? What happened? It was like a kid that popped up. Oh, that I he's see afraid that. of. Hey, what are you doing home so early? He's following me, Brian. Who's following you? I didn't Tom see Cruise. it. I spent one afternoon like a baby Tom like Cruise. I signed an eight-year contract to show up at events with him and let him fake father a child. Stewie, I would think Tom Cruise has better things to do than follow you around. Oh, really? Well, explain that. You gotta help me get rid of him, Brian. He's creepier than that guy at the gym who just does karate in the mirror. You? It's me. The guy's me. I'm a gym karate creep. I'm a gym karate Pretty creep. good, too. But relax. If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. Ready for a healthy dinner? I went to Whole Foods today and got this recipe mm. from an extremely thin man with a giant Adam's apple. I hate that place. None of the cereals are advertised on TV. What's this stuff that looks like sand? It's quinoa. Nope, I don't need soap. Oh, he, he don't even want to try it. No? Mm. Wow, Lois, you know, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. Peter, you should try it. Ugh, fine. Yeah, Brian like it. Uh, you can act like he's dying. Yeah. Except for maybe. My body's rejecting it. This boy having nightmares. It's the middle of the night. Where are you going? I'm sick of all this healthy crap. I'm going downstairs to find something good to eat, and then I'm gonna fall asleep watching transvaginal mesh lawsuit. Ew. What? There's nothing. Thank you, son. Are they both suffering, boy? Eat my junk. This, Lois, is my new food truck, specializing in all the delicious, unhealthy foods that you won't let me eat. Because you don't let me eat what I want to eat. And, uh, and, uh, he and I get super dizzy, and there might be a gas leak in this thing. <laughs> and drinks where hot dogs is the straws. Ew. And what? Thing, please. Ew. Business, but drinking that on your knees is... Yeah. Yeah. Hat on a hat. It looks Look pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. It's gross and unhealthy. It's exactly the stuff I'm trying to get you not to eat. Yeah, but people like this food. It makes them happy. I mean, you can eat... Oh, there we go. You think I'm overweight. I know you're overweight. Hey, yeah. I'll have the uh, Swedish fish tacos. You want the can of Swedish fish tacos. On on the side. What does the chef recommend? Me? I like to squeeze the can so hard the chili flies into my mouth like yeah. this. You got it. Let me put on my bandana, fire up my very lap. That'll be $16. $16? That's expensive. Yes, sir. Everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. Now, what? I'll just select a gratuity. Options are 60%, 90%, and 200%. 60%? Uh, I guess 90. 60%. That's, that's okay. extremely high. 60%. dragging your bare finger across this thing I use to masturbate. Uh, Ugh. Okay. Girl, you finna break your legs. Skates on a treadmill? Yeah. You'll get hurt. No, I won't. I'm gonna dodge it. Y yeah. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This roller derby's really toughing me up. Oh, roller derby. I gotta say, I yeah. never felt better. Really? Because I watched how rough it was out there. Good at. 
Plus, I love making other women bleed. But, you know, in ways besides the way, you know, they normally bleed. Yeah, I got it. Stuart. Yeah. But I'm telling you, Meg, something bad is going to happen. Like when you give a young athlete too much money. Uh, yeah. I gotta murder somebody. What? The mm. the house like I don't think that's the case. Where the hell is everybody? I didn't even try to say it was like OJ when he was younger. I don't know. Cereal, that's M and M's and Dr Pepper over here. M and M's and Dr Pepper. You yeah. Get in the house and eat the healthy dinner I prepared. And Peter, you too. Shut down that truck and get inside. He eating all his own food. Time to greet the day. He getting even bigger. Yeah, he is. Are you living in a truck? Yep. Look all Ew. nasty in there. Nasty. Here, how do you get anything done with it's those rocket mouths right. staring at you? Hey, who says I get anything done? <laughs> guy talk. Guy talk. Yeah, guy talk. Guy talk. <laughs> guy talk, guy talk. This is how guys yeah. talk. Oh, Peter, this is awful. Well, I love it. Run like a man, you get a suit. What the heck? Here you go. And if you'd like to put this dude is what three, four hundred pounds? Sell it to Russian hackers. Peter, Peter, it's happening. What? The big maps car. It's three wow. blocks down, and it's coming. He'll be way. tired. Yeah, how big he is. This is yeah. the day we've been waiting for. We said we're gonna. You can't get out of the truck. Yeah. Cause he, he, he's been living in a truck. I'm stuck in a truck. He's stuck, y'all. He is stuck. This dude is too huge, man. Oh my God, Bing! Bing! Over here, Bing! They can't see you, Peter. You're facing away from the street. Hey there, sluggers. Welcome to Red Sox Fantasy Weekend. Well, who's this? We've never had a lady come out for this before. Oh no, no, that's my wife. She's just dropping me off. Yeah, yeah. They want her to stay, though. I'm not staying. I don't know the first thing about baseball. Look, your spot's already paid for. And besides, if you leave, the teams will be lopsided. So as your coach, I insist you stay of 1980s All-Star Wade Boggs. Hey, would you mind standing next to a star of today? Sure. Man, what happened to our game? David Ortiz, will you pick him up like a baby? It's your weekend. Your weekend. <laughs> Now let me put this baby bonnet on his head and the cigar what? in his mouth. Okay, he's trying to show the difference between how big or the no, players got. Then... Are you gonna let your wife? Okay, Stewie, time for you to get dressed. Yeah, a closed door means come in, I guess. What the hell do you think you're doing? Let's just get that boy a naked. Cute shirt for you. Then I thought we can go to the park. Oh, how about this? I press my butt against the wall and duke on it. Ugh, oh, he do nasty. Don't do that. You're messing with my schedule, so I'm giving you wall poop. Stop that right now. Wall poop. This... Now sit here until I say you can get up. And if you move one muscle before, then I'll smack you in your weird head. Hey, it's not weird. Mom says it's distinctive. Distinctive? It's always the fat one. I heard that. I said it right to you. You know what? Let's just get Lois up to bat. Where's Lois? I'm right here, coach. I wonder if have a, I wonder the coach have a crush on Lewis. Except for Babe Ruth. <laughs> Babe Ruth. Ha, that's funny because she's hot. <laughs> he crying? Oh, Meg hurt his feelings. About his head. Meg's awful. She gave me a timeout and she made me sit in this chair. My God, she, she put like yeah, I shadow on his ass. I might have gotten up from the chair. Brian oh, he did it himself. Yeah. You've got to talk to her. Stewie Lois put Meg in charge and. Honestly, once I knew that, that's it. I'm not just gonna sit here and see what that psycho does next. Or right, I think. Ah, I shall fashion a makeshift ladder with my diaper genie entrails. Shift diaper genie. <laughs> no, with the entrails. So basically, the dirty diapers. Yeah. As an extension of your arm. What? Wow, I can't believe I'm pretend bowling with a dog on drugs. What the? Oh, they're playing like the Wii or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they're playing the Wii bowling. Gotta do some double play drills. Oh yeah, little infield. Let's flash some leather, huh, guys? Who wants to play second? I will. Lois, why don't you? No, play yeah. Second? They really like Lois. Yeah, they said they really like Lois. I even held up my arm with my other hand. That is the most noticeable way to raise your hand. <laughs> okay, Griffin, you go out there and be the base runner. Sorry, Peter. That's baseball. I'll show you baseball, you sexually unsatisfied wife. Dang. He's gonna take her out. Yeah. Wow, you are too slow. Coming Ooh. Up the Told ya. Yeah. Highlights of the playoff game between the freaking unrelated. This boy got naked running across the camera naked mm -hmm. on national TV. Her leg yeah, messed up. Leg is fractured. We should get her to the hospital. My only medical training is to say walk it off. 
Can you walk it off? Oh, why? Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna go fake use the phone in the dugout. I guess I should ride in the ambulance. Mm. You think I'll be back in time for the game? What? You're not playing in the game. It's supposed to be a fun day out here, and you go nuts and break your wife's leg. Yeah, horrible. It's my fault. I'm all hopped up on hard baseball card gum. Ugh. That gum seem hard. Mm. Yeah. Why? Eating a Mastercard. It's like Let's a of strip it. of gum that like would come in with a baseball card. Yeah. Subway. Please don't think of pedophilia. <sighs> Because the, the mm -hmm. guy, yeah. You know what I'm getting sick of saying? My husband did this to me, but it's not what you think. Please forgive me, Lois. I'm so stupid. Dan, why you went so crazy? Well, ever since I was little, I was always the fat, uncoordinated kid that nobody wanted on their team. Mm. And I was excited that for one weekend, if I could just step on that field and get a hit at Fenway Park, I could erase all that and feel like a champ for the first time. I feel like he's making this up. Yeah, he is. But I'm not a champ. I'm a fat loser. No wonder nobody ever picked me. Stupid fantasy baseball game. Well, guess what? You're gonna play in that game, and you're gonna get that hit. And when you do, gonna get it. we're all gonna he be gonna get it. you on. Really? Well, how's that gonna happen? Peter, these guys have been sexually harassing me since the second I Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Play or every one of these Red Sox are going to jail. Even Ted Williams. Mmm, new meat. What is head? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Welcome, members of our school community. Let's call to order this emergency meeting of the school board regarding Principal Shepard's meltdown. I know a number of our students have felt traumatized by the events of this week. And we take those concerns right. very seriously. Yeah. Do you take them seriously? Simply, yeah. Vice Principal McGuire would step in. However, I was informed earlier today that she was found dead in her car. <laughs> what? <laughs> Therefore, the board is seeking a parent volunteer to serve as interim principal until a permanent replacement oh, can gosh. be found. Hey, Lois, maybe I should do it. I've always wanted a job where I can mm. find dandruff go wild. What? No way. Why? Well, it was crazy as a book, <coughs> man. It was crazy, man. Yeah, Peter. Man, that's messed up what he did to Lois, though. Her yeah, he got so into that, though, that game. that He just wanted to... Look good, so and yeah. he was jealous that Lois was getting all the attention. Yeah, it was it was a couple funny clips in her man. There are a couple you know. funny, but there weren't too terribly many like really funny ones. Yeah, I mean me. Peter definitely got super overweight. Oh you know that junk that food, crazy. boy. That was the just, Stewie, man. the Stewie, the Stewie poop on the wall. Yeah, that was really <laughs> crazy. Oh, that's the one that I was uh, like, oh my lord, Stewie. I mean, what do I think about Megan? Man, she was like rollerblading, I mean roller skating on oh. a train machine. Like, why? It made sense why? when she said roller derby, though. Cause she oh, okay. Get herself in shape for her. She must have been on a roller der roller derby team. Yeah. So then it kind of made sense. But. Yeah. But yeah, man. Oh, Comment geez. down below, man. What's your favorite clip, man? Yeah. Did you laugh? Did you lose? Or did you make it? Yeah. But we about to get in this video. If you want to send us a special video quest, check out the link to our stream lab. Mm -hmm. Check it out right now. Check it out. Send us a special video quest. Don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It's your memory B. And Nicole. We're going to catch you on the next day. Awesome. Peace and love, baby.